Okay, so today I'm going to be looking at your CAD development page. CAD is a really important tool when you are thinking about prototyping. It's a fantastic tool no matter what program you use because it enables you to explore alternative ideas. So if you've already come up with uh, a design idea and you've trialed it okay, ready in some sort of material, a CAD program enables you to test it further. CAD programs very often are very accurate in the way that they need to be assembled to put the product together. So it means that you have to be very careful and think a bit more particularly about what it is you're trying to make. It also gives you opportunity very often to include textures and um, different surfaces so that you can think about how you're going to realize this prototype in much more realistic ideas. So let's have a look at the pages then. So first of all, again, think about the layout of this page. It's important that it follows the same format as all your other pages. Make it very clear that this is a CAD prototype page. The best way to do this is to take screenshots as you're going along. Quite often a CAD program takes a long time to produce an end product. It can take weeks from start to finish. So it's a good idea to take screenshots as you're going along so that you've got a record of what you did. Some programs like SolidWorks will enable you to roll back your design so that you can take a snapshot from the finished model. But otherwise, it's important that you have some indication of what it is that you've produced. Always helps to show uh, an idea of how your design progressed through the CAD program. So if you can have a beginning, a middle and an end, that also is quite good on your CAD page. <clears throat> it's good if you can use the program to test your product. So you can see on this particular example, there is a, a drawing, a, a realization at the bottom of the model mocked up in some sort of format, giving an indication of scale and how it's going to be used. So this multifunctional key tool has got um, a scale drawing at the bottom to give us an idea of how that would be used. And that's been mocked up using a CAD program. <clears throat> As before, Think about your headings. So if you're using different boxes, try and think about how you're going to head up each of those sections and make it quite clear where the text goes. On some of these CAD pages, you've got a lot, lot to say. So make sure it flows across the page. You can use arrows, you can use numbers. So make it quite clear about how you're laboring your page. So we've got two examples here of two good design pages. So we've got an example one that's about a good level six and another example that's a level seven or eight. So the first example very clearly shows the stages from the beginning to the end. We can see here the very beginning drawings that this student has done to come up with the concept that he's trying to create. You can take those measurements directly off your neat drawing page. So if you've already worked out precisely your dimensions, you can use them straight onto this program to enable you to mock up the designs. He's taken a screenshot of that so he can write and talk about how he's done it. And then what, what thought process he went through to think about how to realize that in 3D form. So even though this is just a prototype and it's also a virtual prototype, you've still made those decisions about how high, how thick, how curved, all of those things you can talk about in your annotations. Once we've got the two parts on this one, so you can see in the middle section, there are two parts to this product. This student has started to think about how to assemble this and put it together. So there's a flange on the bottom, which enables the top part to sit inside the actual beaker. And then he's put a completed drawing mock-up so we get an idea of how the whole thing fits together. So it's a really good layout page. It flows from left to right. It's annotated completely. It talks about the different stages and it gives us an idea of what the product is. I would say the disadvantage to this page is that the drawings on there, the, the mock-ups are very, very large. So they're taking up a huge amount of space. You must ask yourself, is this actually adding to my mark? Is this enormous drawing actually going to give me more marks or would it be better if I put more writing on here? And it would be good to see this prototype developed further. So perhaps thinking about other things he could have do, done. So, for example, we could have got a more ergonomic shape on that beaker. 
He could have used the CAD program to trial that out, to experiment and included it on his CAD development page. CAD is a really good way of doing that. You can very quickly and easily change a design, tweak it and come up with alternative design options. The examiners will really want to see that. Have you really thought about what other options you can push your design to? Where else could this idea go? The second example is a fantastic example of a high-end student who's really thought about showing all those stages. So we've got quite a lot of drawings. They're quite small, but these mock-ups enable us to talk quite detailed about what it is that student has done. So this student has got very clear evidence of the decisions that they've made at lots of stages, not just at the end. So with, this is a second part of a CAD sheet where he's designing buttons and features that go onto a device. So you can see he's thought about tweaking the design, changing the design, altering it. He's thought about ergonomics. He's thought about sizes. So in his annotation, there is evidence of that. Make sure that you include those decisions. Those are key things that we need to know. These are decisions you made in your head while you were using the CAD program. You need to explain them and annotate them in full. This design page, as I said, is part two of a CAD page and would have benefited from showing how these buttons fit on the final product, just to give us an overview. But apart from that, it's a really clear example of how to explain your decisions using CAD.